Kelly has got the latest. This is so cool, Craig. I actually also feel like I'm back in chemistry class over here with uh, my safety goggles on, courtesy of Eric Goldschmidt from Corning Museum of Glass. And you're the master flame worker. And let me tell you, he's definitely the master because he's been working hard all morning over here creating this amazing ghost for the holidays, for Halloween. Yeah. Um, tell us more about, I mean, I don't even know where to begin. This is just, this is just so cool watching so, you do So uh, the, the process that I'm using here is what we call flame working. And it's just a, a style of glass blowing where we can use uh, a torch as the heat source to soften the glass and, and be able to shape it. So this is one of the types of glass making that we do as demonstrations every day at the museum. Uh, we also do traditional uh, furnace style glass blowing every day. There, we have uh, a couple of scientific demos. So we have a ton going on to keep everybody busy, uh, every member of the family. And we are into our fall themes nowadays. So we've got a, a couple of pumpkins on the front of the bench here. Pumpkins are a very popular item for us right now. Uh, we have the world's largest blown glass pumpkin at our museum, which is a uh, it was made by our staff and it's a, a great photo opportunity and in our make your own glass workshop we have the opportunity for our guests to make their own pumpkins with us so a, a lot of good fall uh, opportunities here that's and i also love how you are multitasking here and talking while still making <laughs> making the glass i wouldn't be able to do both it's and i'm just it's just so cool to watch you do this and i mean you could go to the corn museum of glass and do this you know, every day and go see the, the live glass making and the flame working and also people have the opportunity to make their own, which is really cool. And like you said, you have the pumpkins here you brought along. People can make the pumpkins or the ghost. Yep. Uh, the, the ghost we actually aren't doing as a, a make your own activity. This is, this is just, a professional. just for us here. <laughs> yeah, but the, the pumpkins are offered and we have all sorts of different activities at the make your own for all ages. And for area residents, Admission is half price for adults, which would be $8, That's which is cool. fantastic. And kids and teens, 19 and under, are always free every day at the Corning Museum of Glass. So you really can't beat it as a, a family opportunity and a, a, a nice local activity for folks. Wow. That's incredible. Craig's joining hey, us over here. <laughs> I just got one quick question, and you may have mentioned it. How, what's the temperature of that right now? What, what does the temperature have to be for the glass to kind of morph like that? This flame right now is probably a little over 3,000 Fahrenheit. Wow. Maybe, maybe about 3,500. Wow. So we're doing our best to keep our hands Ooh. out of there. And okay, you must be loving this with the temperatures and the science. Oh, yeah. Science this is awesome you are over here. <laughs> yeah, there's but, a, a lot of science at the museum and a lot of science involved with glass making as well. Right, we were saying I just saw this instrument in my chemistry class. That's what made me think of it. Get the flame going. And Mm -hmm. Just how you're how you're crafting it. Like the it's called a Bunsen burner. That's right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a, a little more advanced than yeah. just a Bunsen burner, but yeah, yeah this uh, and and this method of glass making actually has been very important for making scientific laboratory apparatus. Mm. Which you know, right outside of where we have our flame working demonstrations, there's a beautiful display of all sorts of scientific apparatus that have been made through the years. So. It uh, has a very tight tie to, to science and cool. chemistry. Cool. Well, this is so cool. Thank you so much for coming in and spending time with us this morning. We'll have to check back with you right before we leave the show today and give you that final look at the, the glimpse of the ghost. Casper. But basically, Casper is, is formed now. He's been working on him all morning this morning, and, and now it's the complete product. So that took you less than 40 minutes, really, to, to complete this. Yep. How do you not, not sweat? Long. You've done this a long time, haven't you? Uh, I have done this a long time. <laughs> you, you get used to the heat. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, and is it, so you, you're, you're finished with it now, you think? You gotta... Yeah, I'm just gonna remove him from this rod and uh, I'll create a little loop on top so it can be hung up for display and, and we're done. That there is we awesome. Yeah. Well, you gotta go check him out. And you're there, you're gonna, you actually, you, um, yeah, so I, you conduct the classes over there too. So if I, you wanna go meet him and see how he does it, you can go visit him at the Corn Museum of Glass every, every day. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Eric. You did a great job this morning. Thanks for being with us all morning. And just, I'm in awe. Yeah, this is really cool. It's we're gonna have to go neat. check it out. Absolutely. <laughs> Go visit them at the Corning Museum of Glass, and we'll be right back after the break.